we are creating the Oculus Rift, which is a virtual reality device where you can put it on and be in any kind of virtual world that you can imagine. Right, so you're looking down on those trolls and you can you can try to it's like a tower defense system, right? So if they get through they're building an enemy base against you. This is how it's done. It's a hundred degrees field of view plus inside the rift. Um, and that your space here, you have about a, a sort of a, a three foot long. So the Rift is a combination of a sensor package, which sits on the device, and a camera prototype that sits outside the device to track all of your movements. So as you move around, I look, I bend in, all those sort of things, all that information is sent back to a PC. The PC processes it and sends over HDMI to a screen inside here, a cell phone screen actually, um, sends the new image. So if I look down this way, that's what I see. I look over here, I see that. What people weren't realizing or noticing is that when you breathe, when you talk, your head moves slightly. With a positional system in the Crystal Cove prototype, all of that is tracked. Inside the SDK is a body model. So we know how a body can move because there are certain limitations to the way our neck and our body moves. All the sensor data is then married to that um, virtualization of, of a body that information then says, okay, well, if the eyes on that body are here and they've just done that, tell the cameras of the game engine to move to that position. When the cameras do that, they of course render the frame, that frame is sent back over HDMI to the device itself, and that's what the user sees. Repeat and rinse. This now new device takes us to a whole level further. So we've added AMOLED 1080p screens, so it's super high resolution, very fast switching times. We've added positional tracking. So you see some markers here on the device. Um, these are uh, being tracked by a camera. It knows the shape of the device. And so as it turns, the device can understand the orientation that your head is going through. Adding that to accelerometers, gravitometers, and a gyro that are on the device itself, we have a really good idea of where your head is at any time. And we're doing this um, 1,000 times a second and then displaying the screen at over 60 frames a second so that you get a super responsive, low latency experience. Um, one of the things that we've added with the Crystal Cove prototype is latency was about 60 frames per second, uh, 60 milliseconds before, we've cut that in half. So a question we get asked a lot is, when are you freaking shipping it? Short answer is when we're coming out is soon-ish. It's not years from now, uh, but it's not you know, in the next few weeks or a few months either.